Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Samkoviak. Today we are on our way over to get some bear bait supplies. Um, now keep in mind here, if you're hunting Michigan, this is a mandatory must stop place. Um, they do a fantastic fantastic job over here. Um, Melissa and Kurt, they, they got a great setup with more bait than you could ever dream of. It's an easy spot to get to. It's right in Standish, Michigan. It's like literally eight minutes off the expressway off of I-75. So as you're heading up north it's right here easy to get to and they got some awesome hours to let you get there after work and things like that too but um this baiting technique i've been I, I've, I've hunted bears for for 25 years and i've killed a lot of bears and i've been on a lot of bear hunts with a lot of other people too and um you know there's a lot of downsides and pros and cons to different baits and i learned pretty quickly that i can't stand hunting over meat um you know baiting with butcher scraps and things like that and chicken and meat it, it's no good it goes bad really fast the flies and the maggots overpower it and then it goes to crap quickly i learned it just sweets is not good enough and then uh, that just it turns to mush and doesn't work um that you need a good combination and then here in michigan where we are not allowed to use any barrels or buckets or anything like like that it gets to be even more complicated uh, because then we don't have a waterproof container to keep this stuff in so you know trying to find the right mixture of what works and doesn't work for bait has always been a battle here in the state of Michigan and I was up uh, about four years ago on a trip up in Canada and uh, with Dusty up there and uh, you know it, it was an amazing trip killed bears been up there now with him three times it's always fantastic time up there but his baiting technique is like nothing I'd ever seen before. And I did a video on it two years ago, and uh, I'll put a link to it at the end of this, but I'm gonna we're gonna talk about that. And then even last year, I took my daughter up there. I did not hunt bears last year, but I took my daughter up there last year. And it was amazing to see, I'll put the video clip in here right now, but you'll notice this bear was here. They took the bear from the first time he came in an hour before, we, before my daughter shot it with that bear coming in, going out, coming in, going out. That's because the wind had switched and the wind was blowing Blowing from us directly to the bait 100% directly to the bait and that bear still had to have that bait he and this is full-blown daylight three hours before dark that bear had and it's a good bear you'll see like I said it playing it probably right about now for you but that bear would not not have that bait it was amazing and you may also notice in there too there's some donuts glazed donuts that I have thrown around out there and marshmallows as well too he didn't want anything to do with those he wanted that bait mix okay so it's amazing what you can do with the right bait I had as you see in the video at the end of this I'm gonna link I had bears coming into this bait that would literally lay down on their back sprawled out you know spread eagle and lay there and sleep for hours right next to the bait just to protect it so no other bears could come in and get it it's amazing the capabilities of a good high powerful bait and it breaks down into multi multiple parts now we're going to be um over at uh kurt and melissa's here in just a minute this place is amazing they have all kinds of stuff and the prices are unbelievable you just cannot match it and uh we're gonna stop in there right now. Let's go. We're, they're gonna, we're gonna go right into their warehouse. That's what's nice here too is you're not walking up to a counter and going, I need this, this, and this. You actually get to walk into their warehouse and look at everything and check it out and smell it and see what's gonna work for you and what you do and don't want and uh, all these kind of things. So it's an absolute beautiful setup. Um, and uh, and like I said, their prices are so affordable and they're just they're the heartbeat of America type people. They're farmers. They're good hearted. They they mean well they they just they're, they're as good a people as you could ever find and uh i love supporting them i love doing business with them and uh and like i said they make it so easy for a, a hunter for a bear hunter to be able to get everything you need and be able to create the baits that you're looking for and cover all of these aspects of different phases of bait that are important that most people don't know about they think it's just put some some uh you know put some cookies and some meat scraps in a bucket and put it out in the woods there is so much more that goes into that and that's what 90 percent of people are doing and uh, if you want to pull bears away from other people this is the way it's done this is a setup that you're going to need to do it so 
um, we're gonna be there in a few minutes we're gonna go in and uh, check it out and um, you know see what they got and, and cover everything from inside their actual warehouse which like I said is a nice bonus because when you go there you also get to go right inside their warehouse you're not uh, you know it's not something that you can't do you can go in there and check everything out on your own so uh, I can see it actually right here matter of fact I'll turn you around and show you but let's get rolling here but uh, that is their farm right down there that white one right there that you're seeing with the silos and all the buildings that is their farm right there that is actually let me zoom in tighter here but that is their setup, their warehouse, their everything is uh, right there. So that's where you're going to go to get it. In their website, uh, feedmibear.com for Feed Michigan Bear. Feedmibear.com is the site. And I'll have a link down to it below and all the details. But uh, we're going to go in there and uh, take a look at some of the stuff they got. So we'll be right back. All right, we just pulled up. Take a look at this place here. This is uh, this is where the magic happens. Look at all of this set up in here and all this bear stuff. We're going to go in, say hi, and uh, then I'll bring you around and show you a little bit about what we're talking about. But uh, this here is where the magic happens. Look at all this stuff right here for bear. Hey, what's happening? Hey, uh, doing good. All right, we'll be right back. All right, so as you can see here, we have more stuff than you could ever imagine endless supplies and this is all bear bait everything is set now basically here's a menu now this is also on their website so if you go to uh, feedmibear.com you will find all this they keep their menu up to date but you can see we have all of the key components because we're going to need a base you're going to want a base a catalyst you're going to want sweets you're going to want the bonuses you're going to need stuff for uh, uh to get on your pads that you're going to spray around there you're going to want scents for the trees and you're going to need burn stuff this is kind of the foundation that everything is um, basically based on as you're putting this together like right here we got um this is pie filling what, what is that one an apple raspberry donut filling apple raspberry donut filling that is just pure heaven and what's nice is you can actually buy these by the case take those and you can put you know how simple is that not to have to fish that out you just cut a bag open and drop it right in your bucket as you're doing it so amazing stuff they got here but again this is kind of their menu currently and it does not matter what you're doing it doesn't matter as long as you meet that criteria and you have that stuff in there which is a uh um, you know, so if you have your base, your catalyst, your sweets, your bonus, you need something for the pad control, and then you also want the uh, the scent and uh, and the burn stuff. If you have that, you got basically everything you need. Flavor doesn't matter. The catalyst doesn't matter as long as it does and creates that. So, all right, we're going to have Melissa here. She's going to show us around a little bit so we can see. So say hello. Here, let's go this way because that backlight yeah. so we don't see you. There we go. And who do we have here? Isabel, one of our... Uh... One of our seven kids, so this is Isabel. She Ish. will help us quite a bit during uh, bait season. She can uh, show us around and uh, point out different flavors and uh, products that people like to use for their bear bait. So how long have you guys been doing this? About 15 years now. 15 years actually and, and, and it's just I mean so many people from Michigan come here so many people from all over and you said you even have them calling you from California west coast that are calling you wanting you to ship supplies to yes. them and everything like that they've seen um you do a search on the internet and you come up with bear bait and they see oh there's a place that sells it they want it shipped but uh it's not cost efficient really you're gonna pay more in shipping than you would to actually just come and buy the product and yep. you can even find certain things like you said it doesn't matter specific types if you can find something at a wholesale grocery store a cereal or a, a syrup you can get the same results it just might cost you more yep but that's the beauty of here is you're getting so much in bulk as a matter of fact we just had a guy while we were here starting this video he came all the way from west virginia hunting in maine he just filled his entire truck top to bottom and it you know it cost him you know about one tenth of what it would have cost him at home to do it so for him it's worth the eight hour drive to come here and get all that stuff and save all that money so this this is just amazing again if you look around everything you're seeing in here is basically for the most part bear bait um that's in here so incredible amount of stuff so let's talk so what do we got base wise because um when i did that other video i had used uh i think i used granola and some oats but the base doesn't matter what you're putting in there as long as the base is something that's got caloric energy to it and they want to eat it that's what you're after something strong from so what do you guys got for bases so um a popular one to use if you're not allowed to use uh, corns and stuff, people like to use granola. It's a, a waste byproduct. So um, this one specifically here is a blueberry flavored granola. And um, some of the ones are just honey coated. 
think of a high-end cereal that's nice, chunky. People like to use this. It's got the grain, you've got the sugar coating, and sometimes fruit bits or nut bits into it. Yep. So and, and what's nice too is it holds itself together real well. When you take that and you mix it with a catalyst, even if this stuff almost becomes waterproof, and in Michigan, we don't get the luxury of using buckets or pails, our bait has to go right on the ground. So when you take something like this, a base this good and this strong, and then you hit it with a little bit of a catalyst of syrups or uh, you know icings or peanut butter, something that'll oil it and waterproof it, this stuff is awesome. And a bear can't take a huge chunk of this and walk away. They have to stay there to eat this. Um, um, and so they stay on site a lot longer. So it's a fantastic base. Now, if you don't, and you got obviously tons of this stuff too. It doesn't matter if it's blueberry or if it's just regular. It makes no difference. You're going to sweeten it up anyway. Um, what other bases do you guys have here? the granola, we have the um, Rice Krispie Treat mix. So this would be a mix of, this one has a little bit of other stuff, um, like Rice Krispie Treat, sprinkles, Frosting is in here, sometimes chunks of margarine or sugar. Since it's a waste product, it's gonna be a bunch of the good stuff. This stuff does not dissolve in water, so this is coated in marshmallows. It's perfect, holds together. But if the bear tries to walk off with a chunk of this, it stays soft, it falls apart, they have to sit there and eat it. They're not running away from your bait pile. Which is the key, because if they yeah. can grab a big chunk of something and leave, they'll grab it, run away, yeah. eat it in the woods, and then come back for another one. Yeah. So you want to keep them there. And then you had said, too, that a lot of guys have been having great luck with this as a base um, right here, too. This is candy sprinkles, right? Yeah, because last year we did run out of granola, and it was not available anywhere in the country. We could not get it during bait season. So um, we had had these years before. We had bought it when um, corn wasn't an option to use in Michigan and figured people might want to use it. So it has starch and it has sugar, but it also absorbs some of the liquids, so it makes a decent base. And um, some guys had videos last year of their bear just sitting and shoveling the sprinkles into their mouth. Yep. Yep. And it holds together when you mix it with other stuff, too, as well, too. Yeah. So that's fantastic. So base-wise, as you can see, the options of the base is fantastic. And it doesn't matter. And like you said, you've got corn, too. She does that. Here's corn right here. Corn is another one. If you watch my other video, you see that even though I was using granola, I was still putting corn in that base as well, too. And when we're mixing this stuff, uh, you can do it as heavy or as, as light as you want. For me, usually, if you look at a five-gallon bucket here, when I'm making this stuff, um, I'm using about a half of a five-gallon bucket for each bait every time I do it. So I'm filling that up with my base of granola and then we're doing the rest of the stuff. I'm stirring it all up and we'll show you the other contents but that's what I'm actually running out there is about a half of a five gallon bucket and that way it creates that competition just like this stuff is. They can't leave. They can't grab it and take off and eat it. So but base wise, so we got the base stuff. Got options for that. So now as far as the catalyst what do we got catalyst wise? Which is going to be a stuff that will hold it together. So um, we have a sticky peanut butter that you can mix in so um this year it's a thicker one some years it's thinner and this one actually has nuts actually in peanuts it. in there yeah that's nice and Double if you want to thin it you could also just pour any of your fruit syrups or any of that stuff yeah. in there or even water you put water right in there it breaks the oils yeah. down like that too and spreads yep. it real a thin lot of too people will use hot water when they mix up their base um it'll break down the sugars of other sticky stuff so they can mix it easy and as the water cools it'll thicken back up a bit yeah so that is one option for um something sticky to hold everything oh what's this too you got one right here underneath this what are you Nope. 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 Okay. Nope. We don't got that, that one. That, that's an old pail. Yeah. Nope. This one here is a caramel icing. So that's an option that we have for icing this oh, year. Nice. This one's a uh, caramel donut icing. So nice and thick, nice and heavy. There's no whipped air in this. So this is going to go really far and it actually has a really, really nice smell to it. So if you like when you eat pancakes, and you end up in maple syrup on your um, fingers or your kids end up coated in maple syrup and you smell it for the day. Same way with this uh, caramel icing. It's icon. just stuck just with you. Smell yep. It. Yep. Now you're also, I see you got these bags here too, which yep. are also caramel icing, I believe, yep. right? So it's like more of a caramel topping option. Yep. If you want something that's easier to work with, with than this, we have tubes that are about a little over two pounds. And um, you can just snip the end off and you can use that to easily pour into your bait like portion control you just yep. open one thing you don't have to dispose of much except that plastic liner people use those as smears also or to drizzle away from their bait pile yeah logs and stuff 
Yep, and then you also, you can buy that in cases, so it's just real easy, and you can take that right out there, like you said, with you as a little bonus treat when you come out. You can also use that in burns, which we'll get to, same with this stuff, but we're still sticking with the basis of the bait right now, which that foundation, so you have the you have the uh, the base product, you have the catalyst, it's going to make that sticky, kind of hold it together, keep it waterproof, and now you're getting into the sweet stuff. Now, as far as the sweet stuff, you already got caramels in there, that kind of things, but what else we got here? Um, these are stuff we are we got in large large totes so we repail these for people okay there is either a blueberry cranberry oh. syrup or that one is an apple cherry syrup nice. so both of them are sugary sweet they're not too thick so these are ones that are easy to mix into your dry base and um, kind of coat everything that also um, makes the fragrant and sweet Oh, if you guys could smell what it smells like inside this this warehouse right now, it's unbelievable. The smells, it's just incredible. So, yep. So you have that kind of stuff. Um, we also have jugs of like syrups, snow cone type syrups. You can pour those in easily. There are a few different flavors left. They come and go as we are able to get flavors. But um, we have like orange and tutti frutti right now. But that could vary when you show up to buy the bait. Um, you can also use these in spray bottles. Yep, which is one of our scent things that we were talking about when I was explaining to you on a bait setup. So basically, your main bait that's going to be in your five-gallon bucket here that you are going to build with that half thing is going to be a base. It is going to be a catalyst. It is going to be the sweets that we're talking about. Next one will be some of the bonus candies like you guys have over here, this kind of stuff. We were going to cover that we even have um, jars of maraschino cherries yep. that you could add in as far as a fruit. Yep, and if you know, if you if you live here in Michigan, you realize that as soon as the cherry trees start to blossom, bears rip them apart. They love it. And then you have all kinds of actual hard candies, which I like to sprinkle in. So when I'm making mine, I take, when I made my mix in my bucket and I'm half full, I automatically finish up by taking a couple handfuls of these and throwing them right inside. And it doesn't matter what candy it is. These ones, you got these, it doesn't matter, but some kind of candy, by putting them in there, when you take your bucket and you dump it there, all of these that were on the top are now on the bottom. So it's almost like dessert for that bear. And you'd be amazed how they'll actually pick through there sometimes if they're in the mood to get those. So those candies are well worth it. And as you can see, they got a lot of candy options here. So there's a tremendous amount of stuff now. And it is also right here too, which I didn't have, you guys didn't have last this year, but this is dried fruit, right? We have it apple cinnamon or mango bit. And so both of them are nice small pieces and on private property when you can use a barrel or actually I think um, where they change that to you can have barrels on federal land or state land. I think as far as I remember on state, I'm, they, you, could, you can't run them it, on it. You yep. can put it, but they have to be enclosed barrels with a limit of three one inch holes. Okay. So people want stuff that's going to come out of those one inch holes. These fruit bits do fit out of those one inch holes. So those are an option for people that want something that flows. Nice. Those fruit bits. Yep. So you guys got it all covered. And then as far as now, now another thing that you're going to want to have when you're doing this, besides the bait, is you're going to be able to have to have something in a spray bottle, which you can set up that whole area. Every time you bait it, it's like a dinner bell. So when you hit that bait and you put it out there, you're going to spray this stuff everywhere. You want to be able to spray it from the tree when you're in there. And uh, that's where you guys have your bottles. You guys got your, your fruit ones like that that you can use. So that would be these, which you can buy by the case. The prices are on the website, but that would be this kind of stuff here. Some of these you could probably also put right into there and mix that right in, even if you got a water to touch to get through a spray bottle. But all of that's going to be fantastic options for that. And then the other thing you need is you need to have something that we can use for around your bait. So if that is actually your bait, when you set it, you want to coat a ring around that bait every single time for them so when they walk in they get their pads in it and then they track it it's not just the bears but raccoons squirrels everything that comes into that bait is going to have to step through that for that we're using the peanut butters we're using this kind of stuff you got your caramels would be amazing for that again it doesn't matter what your product is that you're using or what flavor it is just follow that system of having that base that catalyst uh, the candies the sweets the bonus stuff for them having that ring around there so that they're getting their paws in there and spreading it and then the other one you got to have too is you got to have something that you can burn 
Doing a honey burn is one thing. Honey works, but everybody does honey burns quite often. So having something else, again, using some of these syrups, using this caramel base. This I can't wait to get into. This is going to be amazing. These two are just going to be incredible. I have uh, I have not played with that before, but mixing that in with some of the peanut butter in there and thinning it out with a little bit of that and, and granola, man, that's going to be, I mean, it, there's just so much here. And there's just no wrong way to make a bear bait, but you just want to make sure that you have all your bases covered. You got to have the solid built base um, or a solid built bait. And then you want that area covered so that then they're coming in and out to get it. And you want to let them know every time you're there, like a dinner bell, and that's taking that stuff and spraying it around. And uh, if you got those baits that are harder, you're just starting them off. Doing a burn is fantastic. But here they have everything. How do you say your last name for your farm? Red tight shine. Red tight check. So, yeah, here at their farm, where they have all of this stuff right here, 100% family owned, family ran. Um, it'll be the, you know, it'll be those guys. It'll be these guys. It'll be Kurt. It'll be the kids. They'll be the ones loading it for you. Um, they, this is what they do, and they are right here in Standish, Michigan. Like I told you, easy access right off the highway. Very simple to get to. Definitely make sure you stop by here for all your bear hunting needs. They have everything you could possibly dream of, and uh, and they do this every single year. So they will take care of it for you and if you're heading up to Canada and even though your outfitter is already baiting remember when you head to a, a baited place like that in Canada um, where they're baiting every single bait he's going to do is the same way he may have baits that are spread a mile or two apart but every bait is baited exactly the same way you want to make yours different this is how you make it different. Come up here on your way, you grab a few of the things you need to bring up there, you spice your baits up and you take it to levels that uh, none of the other baits around there are and you start drawing those bears in, especially with a burn. If he's baiting up there in a certain place up there and he's baiting with the same stuff all the time and you come in with your little propane burner in a pan and you throw a bag of this stuff inside that pan and you let it burn while you're hanging your tree stand and getting stuff set up, that is going to just radiate and permeate for miles and draw bears from all different directions, something they are not used to, they are excited about, smells incredible, and that's going to bring them in there for you too. So uh, any questions too, definitely make sure you call them. They answer the phone every single time you get them. Them. and uh and then also their website is fantastic they keep the prices updated which you saw right here so they keep it they're in stock and updated so, oh this is another one cannot wait to try this this year i'm so excited to have that oh yeah and you got actual peanuts they're where are they at they're over here honey roasted peanuts so even not i mean besides feeding the bears but just think about for your squirrel feeders and things like that too look at that right there Honey roasted peanuts. It doesn't get better than how much are those a bag? Those are 25 pound bags for $10. 25 pound bags for $10. Think about that next time you're buying bird and squirrel food. You know, I mean, it's just amazing. Everything in here is so affordable. Um, I mean, it, you, you'll get every, it, I just can't, I just can't rave enough about what you guys are doing here. I mean, it's changed everything for us around completely, you know, from raiding restaurants and grocery stores and bagging for grease and all that to now it's one-stop shopping. I come here three times a year. I load up the back of my truck. I got everything I need and we are, we are set, you know, it's fantastic. So, um, excellent. Anything else you want to add about anything in there that you needed? I think we covered it all. You've got pretty much everything on the video then that... Yep, we did. We got her covered, and uh, there it is. And like I said, you throughout this video, you saw some clips, but right here at the end, I will also show you how I mix it. Again, the ingredients doesn't matter. That time I was using oats and uh, you know, or uh, granola. I don't remember. I think I can't remember what I was using, but I change it up regularly. But you will see that the system is what matters. The base, the catalyst, the bonus, the sweets, the, all that stuff. That's what matters. As far as behind me, what actual ingredient you use. Not really relevant, just that you meet all these bases. Give them something that's going to be more waterproof, that they cannot eat in one big chunk and run away, that they have to work for and they can't leave the area without it, and that you cover all the bases of what they're looking for calorically, sweet tooth-wise, and have everything set. And uh, here at uh, FeedMIBear.com, they have everything you could possibly dream of. So thanks for watching. We'll be back with more stuff soon. Talk to you later. Bye.